Belsif. I'm your host, Frank Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we're sticking around with this freaking thing for a few hours because it's going to rain out today and there's nothing else to do. So if I drink coffee, fabricate a few things. But I twisted my ankle or something and now my ankle's all dicked over. So I'm freaking sore of dick today. God damn it. I made this little piece of rod and this is going to be the engine mount kind of support bracket which is going to go in there. Zoom in on that. And we'll weld that in there like that. I made this little piece here to join the frame back together right here. And then I can come off of that up to uh, a mount for the old exhaust piper so it doesn't break it off. We're going to get on to welding them up. I'm going to change first, of course, because I'm wearing good clothes. And then we're going to make some gussets for here, grind some of these ugly welds, maybe try to clean them up a little bit. We're going to weld the handlebars up right here. So we've got a few things to do today. You know what I'm saying? It's come along pretty good. Maybe run some brake lines today. I'll have to see because I gotta paint it too. I'm just gonna paint her flat black. And I'm also gonna do some kind of fancy grill here. So you'll see that to come. I'll show you when I do that. It's gonna be awesome. That way we'll cover all this ugly shit. I got some steel mesh I'm gonna put in there. There, I just told you. I wrecked it for you. Frig, why wouldn't I? But don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button if you like this. Hopefully, before too long, we'll have our friggin' going, Captain. All right, as you can see, I finally smartened up and put the friggin' thing on a rack so I'm not on the ground. I wear pants this time. I look like I know what I'm doing now somewhat, except for my Crocs. But I know I'm gonna get a hot spark through my Crocs, but it is what it is. Because I can't put a foot on with this foot all wrapped up, or do the add on with this foot all wrapped up, so. Let's get right to her here. Weld in this piece first. Just like that, Captain. Zoom in, have a look if you can't see it. Why wouldn't you? Oh wait, I'll do it for you. How, why wouldn't I? I might crush these just a tad, just to give it a little bit more of a tapered ass look, eh? I don't know if I can crush them, but we're gonna freaking try. Hopefully I can't, because if I can crush them, that means it's not very strong at all. But we need to figure out a way to mount this on here. So let's get, uh, Let's get a clamp on here and we'll hold that there. And that will give me a good uh, good get go here, Jim. We'll loosen that off. Remember, vice grips and stuff for your friends. Voice, girls, tables. Nothing like a good old vice grip. Careful. Unless, of course, it doesn't fit. What is really going on? Well, it fails. Get up the C clamp. Oh my god. Just, just doesn't want to stay on there. Guess we're gonna have to do this one by feel. Burn the shit out of ourselves. Why wouldn't we? It won't be bad. We get a tack on, then we'll let her go. Oh yeah, I can see myself burning myself. Oh, I knew it would burn myself. See, I told you. There we go. Last tack on. We gotta flip it over and do some more welding. We'll do that in a minute. I have to get this part tacked on. So come around this side so you can see what's really going on. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, so let's get another weld in the back side here. There we go. Good enough. So now we did that part. We can take the engine off and then we'll give her a flip job. Oh, wait a minute. We can probably hit the handlebars over here too. Take the little bar and see if we can weld these things up. Make sure you move the ground. Don't run the ground to a bearing or you can dig her. Just saying. Okay. I can't see so. I'm getting her. I wasn't even on it! Oh god. No, it's still not on it. I can't even see you guys. Like, what the f man? Oh my god, why can't I see? Gotta turn around, Captain, so I can see. You're welding into the open door. Doesn't work too good. Oh. I'm gonna have to go see the eye doctor again because I cannot see at all. That's why I want to show you my welds because they are just, and not purposely, they used to be a good welder. I'm gonna have to see. I'm a little disappointed when I can't weld properly anymore. I put pipe down through the middle of those bars so it strengthens it up when I weld it. So I took some extra bar and I put it in so now it's double thick and it should uh, hold up a little better now. It just can't snap clean off there. Cause I got a bar going from here all the way down to here. There you go. But we'll clean that up with a grinder. We'll do some Nikita welds there and we'll get that cleaned up. But we'll give this a flip job and we'll get that bracket finished up. But let's take this motor off first so it's out of the way. So you don't cock it over. I haven't been known to cock things over. So these, this one's loose and this one's loose. So we'll get them out of the way. 
We gotta put this motor back on in about 10 minutes anyway to line up the bracket for this thing. But we wanna get the motor back on, the chain back on before I weld this. I wanna make sure it doesn't hit the chain. I wanna grind this and clean this up so I don't have to do it with the chain on it. Even though I should go get some spray paint right now and spray paint the whole goddamn thing. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notifications, all of our buttons if you're enjoying this uh, little build we're doing together. I love you guys. I like doing builds like this with you. I always enjoy a good build with you. The handlebars are a little short, but I think once I get my seat on there, it's going to be pretty good because I like to sit down. I'm fat. So I, got, I ordered a seat today off Amazon, a nice big white fat ass seat. It's going to be fucking awesome. And what else did I order? Oh, I ordered some mirrors. And I ordered some masks because you can't go to the house now in public without masks on. What the freaking world we live in. But I'm not going to get into that right now. I'll leave that out of the discussion for now, I will. So hopefully this runs, because this one I haven't had running yet. The other one ran, but it was geckered. Took the part, good parts off of that one and made this one a good one. So hopefully it runs. We'll have to see when it's coming up here shortly. All right, so now that that's off, we'll flip her over and we'll weld that top of that part. How do you like my wooden bed? It's pretty decent. It's not terrible. Hey, that's fucking hot. Not bad. Hey, not too bad. Let's make sure that part is centered and we'll tack her in there. Holy crap, it's muggy today. Get this chain out of the way so don't weld it up because I can't see. You never know. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. That's a good one, Joe. We got her. So it definitely has more reinforcements than a pocket bike, that's for sure. Oh, that's definitely gonna hold her. Checking over the welds. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Well, I'm gonna have a drink of coffee, flip this over, and grind that off, and then I'll be back. Alright! I forgot to start recording again. Sorry about that. I apologize. But all I did while you were gone is take the motor off, clean this up, and then weld this rod on for the exhaust. So there you go. Now the exhaust is solid. Solid. Dragon right it is. Here, let me zoom in. Motor down there. And it goes up to the exhaust right there. Dragon right it does. So now, what I gotta do, cut up a couple more pieces of metal for under the motor plate because it's, it's a little flimsy and I want that motor not to friggin' move. So I'm gonna weld a couple more gussets in here and then we're gonna take some of this mesh and we're gonna mesh it in all along there and bang it down and make it look all, all uniform there. So when you paint it, it'll look decent. Or do you like the raw metal look? Should I close all this in with some, I want you to tell me. All yeah, right, I do. So I got that metal mesh over there. Fill it in here, come across the chain, then bend it in and then weld it and tack it into here. So that looks like all mesh and do the same on the other side. Leave your comments down below if you think I should do that or do you like the actual frame look? Because I just don't like how this looks. I'm gonna fill that in. If I do not put the mesh on, I'm gonna fill this in so you can't see straight through there because I don't like that. That looks like this. But I do gotta, like I said, put more mounts. I got this mount. And I still need more on this engine because I don't want that engine to move at all. So I'm going to put a couple more little marks under here and then Bob will break it on. But that's done. And we'll soon be able to fire that up. And the chain's nice and, you know, just a little snuggy snuggy. But holy crap, Jim, we're almost there. Very close. I just got to get a pole for the seat and to mount the gas tank on the side of it because I have nowhere to mount the gas tank yet. I was going to order a new gas tank, but I thought to myself, you know what? Yeah. I got a gas tank. Well, you know what? I got a gas tank with no mount, so. I was gonna put the gas tank right here somewhere. Or should I put it back here? No, it's gonna be gravity fed, so it's gonna be back here. So I'll probably put it offset to the, uh, I really don't want to offset that far, though. Because there's no way to put it up there. Maybe I will order that other tank. There's a tank that's smaller, and it'll probably fit right in there, and it's got brackets for it. So maybe I'll order that, because this tank, I don't think it's gonna work. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack the front up. We'll get the gussets in the front, so that part's done. And then we're friggin' almost there. Finish up a few other little parts here and there. It's actually not that heavy. A little bit heavier than a pocket rocket, but not bad. Hopefully that doesn't go anywhere, because I need to weld from there. That should be alright. What I'm gonna use for that is some angle iron. And we'll just weld it off to the side. Yeah, we will. Why wouldn't we? I'm not 300 pounds, but I want to make this thing 300 pounds plus. That way nobody will die on it. So let's go 8 inches. Yeah. Eight inch assholes. One. Two. So take these and we'll put them like that. Which will give you more than enough strength. Let's start the welder and tack them on. How's it going? You are a big 
going to do next is I'm going to mock up the brake line for at the back here. That way, when we get it running, the brakes will be ready to freaking go, they will. So, I'm going to put the brake. What should I do with the brake? Should I put the back brake on the throttle? Yeah, let's do that. Back with the throttle, Captain. Now, I wish I would have. It should drill an access hole so you can run the cable to that too. I think I'm going to. Because that would be friggin' decent. Then we can run the cable right through the old frame of race gate. Don't put a hole here. You know what? That's going to weaken my frame to win it. What should I do, Jim? Shouldn't weaken it that much, though. Eh? Let me move you so you can see me. I'm going to do it because. Hey, hey. There we go. So now we should be able to feed this line right through there. Aw, oh, dick. It should pop out right near the back there. There it is. There you go, Captain. So we'll bring her up and around through here. We'll leave yourself a little extra. Oh yeah, that's gonna be awesome. So we might as well get a brake on here and we can line all that up. Brake on here and we can line all that up. Where the hell is everything? What do we got back here for brakes? Uh oh. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Here she be. Now you're just gonna find the brake. Hope this door gets a window in here. Oh yeah. She's a beauty. She cooled right down. Now it's harder to get trying to do this. Well, now that's hitting there, though. What happened? It's gonna be a total friggin' redo on the brake situation. Cause I had to change the spacers around from where the motor's mounted. And how am I gonna feed that cable through there? Cause it's gotta be joined. Better bring the throttle cable this way for one. Keep it away from the chain. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do the throttle cable. Cause I gotta join it. Cause I couldn't find a throttle cable like that. I might be in luck. I'm gonna use this brake here, cause look at the way it's mounted. Take that off and use that spacer and stuff like that. Carol, easy. Bigger nut, why wouldn't it be? Carol! Oh, for God's sakes. You pull that out. Look down here, would you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, dick. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. There's no way in heck this is coming out. It's like... Grinder. Oh, forget everything's falling out of this thing now. Now I'm just going to remove that. So, we need to put the brakes back together. Because they all fell apart. So here's one. Oh, what's that in there? Get that out of there. That's a pusher. These brakes look brand new, Jim. Friggin' right they do. Oh, perfect. Yep, those brakes shoes are brand new. Look at them. Aw, oh, dick. So we're definitely using this setup, which is the same setup as the front anyway, so that works out pretty good. So we gotta put, that goes on there like that, and that's gonna be bent. Oh shit, this is gonna be a pain in the ass, boys. Hammer! just right. There it is. That should do her right there. We got her, Captain. So, we gotta take this wheel off again. And we're gonna have to go for different spacers too. Gotta re-space the wheel all over again. Why wouldn't we have to? Are you watching? Probably not. I guess you are watching. Where oh where is that one gone? Oh where where did it freaking go? Since this is all off, I might change all this too because the other bike's got better shit. So flight is up, flight that up. Take the chain off. Pull the rim off. Might as well take this out. <clears throat> Pull off. You're right back, Jim. Take that off. That off. Put this one on. Put that one back on. Jesus. We're getting somewhere we are. So what I need now is... I need... That's on backwards. Oh, my God. This has got everything all caught over. So they're both on backwards. So we can pull this back off for a second. So that means we got to pull that off because this one's cocked over. That in here. Then we want, then we want that back here. Then we want this tightened up. Then we want that up here. Careful. Okay. Free. So now we want this in here. So that's going to be turned some more. Technically, I can put a spacer in there. Let's do that. Sorry, guys. This is taking a while here to 
line up and get all freaking straight and whatnot. Yeah, because that's no damn good like that. So that's when you start retrofitting different brakes onto something. You're going to run into problems like this. Which is a good problem, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. So that's better. All right, so let's get the chain back on. Okay. That's pretty good right there. My new brake design caused me issue. So now we got that. That's good, that's good. This is good, that's good. Careful. Easy. Right on. Where the f is the socket gone? Did I drop it, Jim? So there we go. We got the brake on. Well, part of it. Let's get the other part on. Come over here and watch. So I've been trying to get this bracket in the right spot to hold the brake so it doesn't get bound up. So now that I get that on, this is a floater it is, so it will just go on and float. I hope. Not too sure how the brake pads stay on, to be honest with you. Oh, God. Really? I should have put that on first, I think. Oh, God. How do the fucking brake pads stay in there? I mean, what's all the that heads on? Oh, I got you. Oh, decent. So, yeah, we gotta take the wheel back off again. Oh, yeah, just to get the brake shoe on, or brake caliper. So, we'll wrap this off again, real quick. Now you can actually see what I did. And then we'll wrap that off real quick. Drop the screw through the hole. I literally gotta take the whole thing apart. This is ridiculous. I think we got her. Careful! See if the brakes work. They sure do. We freaking got her. Well, I'm gonna step back, take a break, and we'll come back to you when we get more done on this thing. Friggin' right we will. Because I've been at her all day, I had some company today, we had a pretty good day we did. So don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button if you like how this is coming. Don't forget to leave any comments down below because I'd like to know what you think all the time. I love you all, and until next time, you know what to do for now.